Hello everybody. In this video, I'll show you how to add shapes such as an arrow, circle, rectangle to your video in Wondershare Filmora version 12, which is the latest version. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is to add a element such as a, a box and an arrow. I've already created one and I'll show you this example. So this example I created, you can just move just say the arrow or the rectangle. This is a custom preset that I created and I'll show you how to add your own custom one and save it so that you can keep reusing it. Now in order to create a custom one, I'm going to hide this one. And what you've got to do is under titles, go to recommended, you see the default title. Now if you don't see it here, just do a search for default title. And it'll come up on the list. You can actually pick anyone, to be honest. But let's use the default one. Add it to your timeline. Double click on it. And click on advance. When you're in advance, you don't need the actual text. What we want to do is, if you click on the second icon, which is to add a shape. These are the all different shapes that are available. Let me add a circle for this example. And on the right hand side here. You don't need the text. If you scroll down to the bottom, you see that there's a color fill here. Shape fill, you don't need to have that. We want it to make it transparent, so you just des deselect that. And the shape border, I want to make it red to make it more stand out. And then for thickness, I want to make it thicker. At the moment, it's centered. You can have it centered, you can, or as I showed you before, you can move it around later on. So let me just move it here for now. I just want to highlight the amount. And then I'm just going to add another shape, which is the arrow. I'm going to delete the text. Now the color fill, I want the color to be red. And the border also want to be red. So it looks a bit too thick, so you can make it narrower. Just choose the border and shrink it. And you see at the bottom here, save as custom. This is where you're going to be able to save it so they can reuse it. Circle and arrow. Hit apply. Now under here, under titles, so we go audio, then just say titles. Under mine, custom, you will see the circle and arrow. You can reuse this one. So just say later on, you want to add it here in this particular section. You, you can move them around these two separate elements. And that's it, you can reuse it as many times as you want and you can re keep recreating it or you can basically add any different shape that you want. And that's how you create these different pointers that I'm going to be keep using. If this video helped in any way, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.